Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is first lecture of Graph Theory series part 1. In this lecture we are going to look at two different kind of graph representation that we usually use. The first one is adjacency matrix method. In this method we have a matrix of size n cross n if there are n number of nodes. And here we can see that there are six nodes in this current graph that we have. So we have a 6 cross 6 matrix. Each row represents the ith row represents the, the information for ith node. And the cell ij contains value 1 if node i and j are connected. Else it is 0. So we can see that node 1 is connected to node 2 and hence cell 1 2 would be 1 and the rest of the cell in row 1 would be 0. As you can see, there is no, there is no edge from node 1 to 1 and hence 1 1 is 0. There is an edge between node 1 and 2 and hence cell 1 2 is 1. There is an edge, uh, sorry, there are no edge from node 1 to any other node and hence the rest of the cells are 0. Similarly, similarly for node 2, there are 3 edges. 2 is connected to 1, 2 is connected to 3 and 2 is connected to 4. That is why in row 2, 2, 3, 2, 4 and 2, 1 would be 1 and hence rest will be 0. Same for node 3, same for node 4, 5 and 6. To count how many edges does a node is connected to, all you have to do is go in that that uh, row and then count the number of one in that row for example to count the number of edges uh, to count the number of nodes such that node 4 is connected to that is count the number of neighboring nodes of 4 these are 3 as you can see 2 5 and 6 so all you have to do is go to row 4 and then count the number of one present in that row uh, this kind of representation is easy to use but it requires a lot of space as we know that the space requirement is n square so you know if you take an integer array and if there are 10 to the power 5 number of nodes then the total space requirement would be 40 GB which is too much mostly in the competition like on code forces the, uh, the space given is usually 1.5 GB same is for spodge but 40 gb is just too much so uh, we would not be using matrix representation of graph uh, so many times because it requires too much space apart from space uh, dfs or bfs algorithm takes n square time in uh, matrix representation form because uh, you uh, to complete bfs or dfs you had you have to traverse each and every cell at least once and since there are n square number of cells hence the overall time complexity for dfs or bfs traversal would be n square which which again is too slow so instead of matrix method we use adjacency list method here what we do is for each node we prepare a list we call it adjacency list in e for each node we keep the list of all the nodes to which the current node is connected to for example in the list of two there would be three nodes since node two is connected to one three and four and hence node two is connected to three nodes the adjacency uh, the adjacency list for this graph would look something like this node one is connected to node two only and hence in the adjacency list of one there is two only node 4 is connected to 2 5 and 6 and hence in the adjacency list of node 4 there are three nodes 2 5 and 6 the adjacency list can be implemented using vectors in c++ or array list in java there may be other data structure that you can use but these are two basic data structure that you can use to implement adjacency list method Mostly in the uh, competitive programming, the input is given as the form of pair. This graph would be given in the form of uh, edges. 
and to represent an edge two end point would be given for example the this edge would be given as 2 1 or 1 2 rep, uh, indicating that there is an edge between node 1 and 2 so all you have to do take a and b that is two endpoints and in the adjacency list of a insert b and in the adjacency list of b insert a this is how you take input and uh, create the adjacency list so this is a simple implementation in c plus plus suppose n are the number of nodes and m are the number of edges so if there are n number of nodes you require n plus one size of vector array since now you would have indices from 1 to n and now since there are m edges that is why the while loop runs for n times each time you read two n points and in the adjacency list of a you push b that is you insert b and in the adjacency list of b you insert a this is how you implement the graph representation in c plus plus same goes for array list in java and I know you can figure it out how and what data structure are used for other programming languages. So this was all for this lecture. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of it. Thank you.